uh, follow your dreams. You got a diploma. Diplomas are pieces of paper that sit on walls. After you get a diploma, real life starts. You got to chase your dreams, man. I don't really give a what your paper says. If it ain't what you're dreaming of doing, plus that paper's kind of deceptive anyway. And I always thought it was messed up that you ask a kid at 18 year old to declare what he wants to be for the rest of his life. Then he gets a major and he works his ass off for four years and he gets a degree and he, he didn't even know who he was when he answered that question. Most people I know don't even work in their degree because they discover something else. My partner was a lawyer, man. He went to school for law school and everything. He passed the bar before he graduated law school. That's how brilliant he was. He an agent now. He ain't even want to be the law no more. He an agent. He just decided to do something else. So I say chase your dreams, man. Do that thing, man, that keeps you up at night. That thing that bothers you, man, that makes you trip. You can't quit thinking about it. You always, that, that, that thing, man, that you wake up in the middle of the night, you got a new idea. That's what you got to chase. Because anything else, it's going to disappoint you. You're going to forever be sad, man. If you don't chase that dream, you're going to forever be miserable, man. Bishop Jakes was talking one day on a podcast. I heard him talking. He said, I would hate to die and never do the thing I was born to do. That's a sad thing, man. That people like, they never chase. Because you got jobs and stuff and you listening to other people. I would, man, if I hadn't chased my dream, I wouldn't be here. If I listened to my mother and father, I'd have been a construction worker, just like my brothers. You know, you gotta pick certain things that motivate you. The number one motivating thing for me, and I'm just being honest, was I was sick and tired of being poor. I was just exhausted. My mother was poor, my father was poor, my brothers and sisters were poor. All my friends were poor, all my relatives were poor. I lived in a poor neighborhood, we lived in a poor house. I was just like, wow, man, I watch TV. And I would see, you know, like at Christmas time, my father would put us in the car and take us out to the suburbs to see the Christmas lights. And I would see these big houses, man, with lights all on them, and they had horseshoe driveways where you just pull in and go all the way around. That shit was amazing to me. You know, we would pull up in the driveway, we got a back out. You know, I've been doing that shit, and I kept saying, I told my father, I said, Dad, I said, why don't we get one of these houses? He said, boy, I ain't got no money for this kind of house. He said, but if you work hard, keep going to church like your mama said, you can make some money, you can buy you one of these houses. That was it. My motivation was to buy a big house so I could put up Christmas lights and, and, and drive in the driveway. And I am to tell you something, every home I have, Every house I've ever owned or built, you got to pull in one way and drive all the way around to come out there. I have never built, lived, or owned a home that did not have that driveway with gates on both sides. Never. That was the biggest motivating. So my advice is you have to find a dream that's so big that it overwhelms all of your fears and causes you to never give up. Now you're gonna think about quitting no matter what you do. I mean, I've thought about it many times, but I always just kept thinking about that house. And I've always dreamed of buying my mother and father a real house. And you know, and before they died, I was able to do all of that.